More Americans die from heat exhaustion or heat stroke each year compared to any other weather related illness or injury. Even in Iowa, hundreds of people visit the emergency room every summer after battling the extreme heat, according to the Iowa Department of Public Health. Now that we're supposed to wear a mask to protect ourselves and others, how do you deal with face coverings in the hot weather? Local 5 meteorologist Brandon Lawrence shows you how to balance the two. When you're outside and away from others at a place like Easter Lake, you don't normally need to wear a mask like this. Now, if you're outside and in a crowd, you do need to wear a mask. But now that temperatures are really starting to heat up, how do you balance wearing a mask while also beating the heat? We all know wearing a mask isn't exactly fun, especially when the heat sets in. This is really one of our only main ways to try and prevent the spread of it. You don't need to wear a mask outdoors unless you're in busy spaces like zoos or theme parks, regardless of the temperature or how uncomfortable it may be. If you need to, say, go up to a concession stand or something and get food and you're around people, put it on while you're in those areas. But then maybe as you are just walking around and you're in more open spaces, then you could take the mask off. Finding harmony between the two can be tough. And wearing a mask for too long without a break could make you more susceptible to heat exhaustion. It's important to take breaks from the mask whenever possible, and staying hydrated and away from direct sunlight is especially crucial. Find a place that is um, safe to just sit down and uh, distance from others to take that mask off and just take a break. So use your best judgment this summer on when a mask is and is not needed. Like I said, we all know wearing a mask can be uncomfortable, especially when you do need to do so outside. But it is a small thing that can make a huge difference. In Des Moines, I'm Brandon Lawrence, Local 5 News. We are Iowa.